family friend who is a camp director posted yesterday about the countdown for her camp this summer that she's the director for. It made me think of something which is typically when we count toward an occasion such as the first day of camp or a vacation or uh, some other special anniversary or birthday in our lives. We know exactly how many days between now and then so we count down, right? Nine, eight, seven, six, or I think in the case of this friend, something like 69 days till some summer camps begin. And yet our Judaism, our Jewish tradition, actually counts up on one occasion. That's right now. This is the period between Passover and Shavuot when we count the 49 days, and in fact it's 50, between the receipt of um, liberation, uh, which is being led out of Egypt by God, and uh, the receipt of Torah, uh, which is uh, the heart of our Jewish people uh, on Mount Sinai. And we count those days, and we know exactly how many days there are in between, according to our tradition. And yet, despite that, we don't count down. We don't say 50 more days till, and then 49, and 48 until it's one more day. In fact, we count up. We say today is day one of this 49-day period, day two, day three, day four. So the question is why? And the answer is that it has to do with how we as human beings increase in holiness. We increase in uh, strength. We increase in character. That hopefully as each day goes, uh, we actually grow. Again, strength, character, and holiness. And so uh, today I suggest the following in the spirit of us increasing in uh, positive holiness in the next number of days in this special period between Passover and Shavuot, I actually suggest that we all turn our attention to a special campaign in Canada called Not Myself Today. And it's actually uh, found at notmyselftoday.ca, much more information. But it is actually one of the very first efforts uh, today to uh, place uh, mental health in the public sphere and to create a lot of attention uh, for it, uh, not necessarily for its own sake, but in fact because it's a great need. Uh, I understood recently that one in five individuals or families in Canada are affected by mental health at one point in their lives. It's not unlike larger statistics in North America. I myself actually wrote my undergraduate thesis about mental health care. It's extremely important in my mind and again, in the strength and in our tradition, uh, I'd like to uh, offer and in fact hope that all of us will increase in holiness in lots of ways, but in ways in which we also support a campaign just like this.